All right, so what's going on, Jimmers, and welcome back to uh, the Stanley Parable, uh, the ultimate, I mean, uh, ultra. Ultra Deluxe, sorry, Ultra Deluxe, there it is. Okay, so we'll, I'm hoping I can finish this game because, you know, reasons. Uh, I know there's a lot to this game, but, you know, let's go. So, there's something I want to go check out. This is the story. Yep, move on. Don't care. So, all of his co workers were gone. gone. What could he go? Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I'm just turning everything off for no reason. <laughs> I don't remember if this was here. Okay. All right, let's see. So this time we're going to go through the red door because last time we didn't do that. When Stanley so came to a set of two open doors, that's what we're he gonna entered do the today. door on his... This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it and perfectly well. Perhaps there he is a, by the a line thing I want to deal with just to admire today it. too, so there is that. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead we'll to the opposite this later. door, and got back on track. Or now. I mean, can we go on through it now? Yeah. Let's go through it now. I want to do this one first, actually. <laughs> Not the red door. I don't even remember how to get there. <laughs> but Stanley didn't want to go also, don't to forget the, the like button and also subscribe about so we can reach uh, off track. So now in 25 order to subscribers. Get back, he needed to go um, uh, uh, da, 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 da. from here, it's um. Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. <laughs> it opened early. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was okay. I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, <laughs> definitely this way. All right, let's go. If I can remember how to get there. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story rubbish completely now. unusual. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do the whole uh, sequence All of his thing here. Were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Okay. We'll get him. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get to the. Uh, when Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I... no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... Uh... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Right, okay. 
So well, this is just how it is. Until eventually he just says that like, it's fine the story. Alright. I gotta walk through on me too just in case because uh I'm not sure what to do after this point. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give right. it a shot. Why not? Okay. Just let it play out. All right. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. I'll leave it from there. Okay. And there is nothing there. <laughs> okay, yep. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. We can do that. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here <laughs> the it comes. story. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Oh God. Okay. That's now this. Weird. Uh, <laughs> well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It is that correct? Hmm. The door disappears Do after Stanley? that. Okay. Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Oh my god! And you Yay! Really <laughs> so, good job. Oh no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay, there's the line. All right, there we go. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. Oh, somebody's How playing uh, that? solitaire. <laughs> So I could turn that off. And I could turn that off, but I can't turn this one off for some reason. No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. <laughs> I just wanted to activate that for no reason. Is there any computers on here? Yeah. That one, yeah. Okay, got it. Got it, 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 got it. So somebody was playing solitaire here. I wish I could turn it off. Mm, you see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The okay. thought wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is a little loud in my ear. <laughs> well, I'm here now. Okay. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. <laughs> that room just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> Wait, what? We're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Oh, no, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. Okay. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Okay. Now, well, then. yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What it's do you just want a loop here. Story to be? Go wild. Oh Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Okay. Well, we're out oh, of that loop no, now. Not you again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Okay. <laughs> ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, okay. the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe right. I need a minute to think here. Just walk okay. in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory okay. from logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. I wish I could go back, but I guess I can't. Oh, hey, oh, we did what's it. This? Oh. Hmm. The confusion yeah. ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? 
and we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the timer to... stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite I sure. Guess, yeah. the destination <laughs> or the journey. I'm sorry if I've not been talking for a while. Life is the narrator has been taking over. The destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, right won't we? Now. Eventually. Yeah. Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you. Okay, he just started a restart in his own. Okay. Okay, I think I slightly understand. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what to do next. When Stanley very came confusing. to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. See, there's the line right in there, but I can't get in there anymore. Weird. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Uh, yeah. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Hmm. I don't understand. I really don't. <laughs> Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. No, I think it uh, wants me to go this direction. Yeah. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have... Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. The epic passageway. Okay. 
So I think it's just like going in here normally, but there is something different about it. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I'm gonna find out. <laughs> now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had and Stanley that's where it was where I was before. This time? Was up this the only reason that, he was happy with his boring that job? Cat walk that up his there? emotions had been manipulated to down? accept yeah. it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life, for he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Hmm. Interesting. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty his obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Okay. So apparently this is a thing that can happen. Which is very Matthews. strange and then and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? 
But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all. Okay, yeah, uh, this is just like the normal it ending, but I the assume there's a twist. Knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, okay. the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Right. And Stanley was happy. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to have a bunch of papers around in the next one. I don't know exactly. Nope. Uh, God, that confusion ending is so confusing. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, the confusion ending is so confusing and hard, I don't understand it. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Uh. Okay, let's do yeah, the other endings. There was endings. not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay, let's try to get Chris out of the blue closet. So you gotta mess with him a lot. Spring break, wow, okay. Uh, anyways, broom closet. We're gonna finally do the broom closet ending. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Yeah, so there's a reason to be in here. There was nothing it here. Is no choice crazy. to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom. Okay, closet. I'm gonna no abandon the whole uh, confusion quest. Confusing quest. Uh, <laughs> that one was pretty hard to deal with. I don't know how to it deal with it. It was that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to yeah. interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, some he's way. literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet F.A. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? <laughs> Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> Who knows? I just want to mess with them. Just because. And uh, this is one of the uh, endings I can do on the board. Or anything in here, right? If I'd said right. Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. So if I, I never would have thought to mention it. Yeah, well, you're not an ex explorer like I am. Maybe Jesus, this, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe Branch. when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending?" The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. Oh, they'll find this concerning Stanley whatsoever. Was ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got <laughs> there the job is. because of a family connection. That's how stupid yeah, he did is. Yeah, That yeah. old drug yeah. money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Jeez, <laughs> lay it on thick, why don't you? <laughs> well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're yeah. dead. Oh, you got God. to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. When oh. a situation like this, <laughs> the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Right. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. 
They have fallen oh. prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Right, okay. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey <laughs> nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Oh, geez. A fungus? Look, fungus. you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay, I'm gonna now reset just cause. I'm gonna see what it does. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I don't know, I'm gonna try. Let's see what happens. I try and go in the closet again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Was the room closet in the okay, the room closet's over here. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Oh no, oh no, 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 not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. And then another reset. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. And then I, get, I think this time it'll be caged up. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. So I guess there's nothing after this, huh? Let's see what happens if I just reset it again. And then maybe it'll maybe it'll check mark Stanley it. knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm -hmm. I sure did. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. All right, so what else is there? We moved my desk. Okay, let me uh, restart again. Okay, so I gotta do everything normal. Were gone. I gotta go through the left door. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So this one, I gotta go through the left door. When Stanley operate. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, okay. So you... Okay. So you gotta be like, you can't like actually go in there. Okay. Okay, this is really tough. Okay, I think we open. Okay, so that's how you get the escape pod ending for some reason. All right, so now we can just go up to our uh, our own place. Okay, yeah, we can just go back here. So this, this is technically the, uh, the escape route ending, the escape pod ending, so. Escape pod bay for floor 760. Okay. 450. Yes. Interesting. I'll let a red door. 455. Okay. 460, right? Yeah. 456. Seven. Number fifty-eight. Four fifty-eight. Four fifty-eight. Four fifty-eight. Four fifty-nine. One more floor. This is all new to me. I didn't realize this was an ending. Okay. 760 escape pod launch bay okay escape oh the red doors in front of me now okay instead of like on the side here it's like over in the corner okay escape it was pretty dark in here though there it is Um. Okay, and then it'll just be normal again, right? Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Just a matter of time. 
When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go this way again. I got to look at that board. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, that's interesting. I want to try that. I want to do this again. I'm going to do the escape pending again because I want to do the bucket thing. And I had a feeling it had something to do with the Coming bucket. To a so staircase, we're going, we're going to try it again. Upstairs to his boss's office. So we're going to do it again. Here's the door. Okay. This time we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to take a bucket. Because I want the uh, replacement bucket sign. I want to see the replacement bucket. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Replacement bucket, replacement bucket, replace. Yeah. I'm gonna take the bucket this time. Okay, floor 760. Here we go. In we go. Bye, Bucket. Okay, am I gonna go in with it, or...? Nope, <laughs> I'm not. The Bucket is the one that's gonna leave. <laughs> That was cool. What other endings do I have? The heaven ending. First activate and put a 419's computer and restart the game. And then restart, right, okay. Okay. Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. 423. Oh yeah, there's a replacement bucket. <laughs> 424. 423. Oh, and then I gotta go all the way to the boss's office. Okay. All right. Oh, hello, Bucket. That's strange. Set the computer before going into the boss's office, right? Yeah. Okay. And then restart again. Okay, so it did change. It's an hour or six now. <laughs> All right, and then uh. Or 434's computer. Okay. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Doesn't no matter how hard Stanley looked. Ah, uh, and then restart again. Yep. 
and then do the one on my computer. Okay, and then we'll restart. Welcome to Stanley Parable. Oh my god, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what else to do here, really. So that was the uh, heaven ending. So there's a room closet glitch and then there's a monitor room glitch. Okay, let's try the monitor. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. I'm gonna do the monitor glitch. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. This is the last thing we're going to do today. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the f but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Okay. Can't do the glitch ending on that yet. Coming to so. a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the monitors glitch soft lock. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind so Control this... Facility. Part here in the beginning once we do uh, go to the bottom part of it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Here we go. Goodbye, world. Aha. You've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first launched in 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos of it on Twitter and acted very superior about it. And you're all very, <laughs> very clever. Good for you. Anyway, when Good it came you. time to update the game, we knew that we had to do something about this little goof of ours, so... Here you go. New content. You can call it the bottom of the mind control room ending, if that enhances your perception of the value of these updates. Isn't that what you crave? New content? Always more yeah. content, more <laughs> content, more, 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 more. And I'm here to give it to you. I'm here to right. make it seem like we really covered every nook and cranny of the game with secrets and Easter eggs. How about this? We wrote a new piece of music just for this section. You won't hear it anywhere else in the game. It's a secret that's just for you. That's how special Excuse you me. are. We call oh my it God. Good job you've made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. Well done. Good job. You did it. <laughs> Good job. Good job, you made it to the bottom of the mind control facility. You jumped on the catwalk. You should have been careful. You should have been careful. It used to be a bug, but now it's an ending. Now it's an ending. 
I believe in you. I believe in your ability to cross this <laughs> barrier. Cool, actually, I like this. Chase your dreams. The railings don't mean anything. Good job, you did it. 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 Okay, now I okay, it just restarts now. So there is a broom closet in me, but I can't do that because the uh, what's happened? All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. What's what's happening here? What, what, what's happening here? What just happened? Everything is all different again. So confused, but uh, I think that's enough for today. Um, I did get that secret. I can't do the uh, uh, broom closet ending just right now because the whole uh, thing is all blocked off and stuff. So I guess I'm going to have to save it for another episode. There are more endings to this. I'm going to find them and see so for right now that's the uh, end of this one i did uh, get through a couple more endings so yeah that's the end of this one hit that like button also subscribe so we can reach three 25 subscribers sorry all right i guess that's that anyways bye